after a game on. Hard fought win actually against Stephanie Reynolds. She hadn't lost a leg in the second event until finally been taken to a last leg decider for the first time today against a German opponent, but a 5 2 victory against Turner saw her through. It was a 41. brilliant display from Makuru Suzuki in many ways, particularly in terms of darting defiance, tungsten tenacity, and the ability to produce the big shots in 43. the big moments. She did it three times. That's what she was doing when she won her first world title at Lakeside as well. Shots like 148. And a real clinical nature about her finishing. It's 100. been seen on the stream more than once today, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, there's a 156, a 160, and a 180 that set up the 75 that she hit to win the semi-final. Denying Lisa 56. Ashton that tilt at Bo Greaves. But I think that's a fixture we may well see at some point tomorrow. Maybe. But it's an open draw, remember, and it's quite strange, actually, that we've got the same final twice, considering it's an open tournament. Well, they meet again. Darts meet treble. FDM. First dart merchant. When that first dart goes in, everything else seems easier. She has this uncanny knack. When that first dart is in the top half of that 60, 60, she just bashes them against that first shot with alarming regularity. Seen time and time again today when she's thrown at a decent dart, but one that's blocked the target. Her bow has got angry with herself. She is turning into something of a perfectionist. She's hit now 17 180s today. That has got to be a record, surely. 81. Unless Fallon Sherrick's had an incredible day. I just don't see that ever happening before. Look at this. Went for it, didn't need to. 21. Yeah, twice she's attempted that on the stream today. Eighty two left. And there's evidence that she likes tops. Because if she liked double 16, she'd go for the bull there. And the boat fancies double 16. Uh, can't quite find it. And it's, again, that dart that we've seen quite a few times that she's having to navigate her 14. way past, this time unsuccessfully. Good chance, this. It'll be a single eight. She wanted a single eight. But she still gets the 68. I assure you, that was a missed single. But that's the beauty of the 16 and 8 section on the board. You've got two chances. Two cracks of the whip. And she didn't hesitate on dart 3 either. Well, maybe 16. she's just playing that, that target area because we've now seen a miss or hit double 8 on the wire and, double, and single 8 on the wire and single 16 on the wire. Maybe she just goes for the wire and 14. knows that whatever double I leave, I'm going to hit it anyway. Yeah, maybe. Some players are like that. When you can go for the single 10 or 6 as well, sometimes when you've got 46, you think, I'll just go for the wire, whatever it leaves me, that's fine. It's a dangerous game to play, though, because you want to know what you're going for on your next dart. Yeah, and also, if you're that good, you might just bounce straight off the wire. Exactly. Minimal bounce 81. outs these days with the equipment that we have, but it's still possible. Forty-one. And Greaves is not playing at her ultimate best here. Suzuki's in control. It's a dangerous proposition when Suzuki is playing at Ninth this five. level. A level that can worry anybody. She's not played her ultimate best today. But she is definitely putting something together. 96. Good counting there from Bo. Like Murph said, she's had plenty of tilts at big finishes today. Missed a bull for a 170. Missed a couple of 164s. How about the one in the middle?
93. Well, let's see if Makura is carrying on that trend from the semi-final. Shots like this. Not going to happen this time. But she is going to leave herself well placed just in case Greaves 96. can't complete her combination. That's not a bad miss. That's just hit. 54. Starting to see a little bit of negativity in the eyes. Especially if this goes. But she definitely wants double 16 this time. Going back to a double she's already hit. 16. And it doesn't pay off. The score was 42, 58. So double eight for Bo Greaves. Nudges the wire. Game shot. Finds a double four and levels the match. Azuki passed up a real opportunity there. A couple of darts to break and lead this final 2-0. They've gone begging. She still has the advantage of throw, but would have been throwing for 3-0 here. 16. Big moves by these ladies in the order of merit. So far today, Makuru would go to number five on the Women's Series Order of Merit 100. with a win. She's already up to seventh. Greaves is not going to move. She's up to ninth. That's the best she can do going into Sunday's play. 100. I feel like just a, a tad... 100. Bo Greaves has slowed down a little bit compared to how she was throwing, for example, in the, in the final of the first event. If you think about when she came through the door this morning, it was probably around 10 hours ago. 85. That's a long day. And there was no break between the two tournaments. Admittedly, she was in round two of the draw after that first win. 140. But the break wasn't that long. And your mind is always whirring. It's always switched on in these venues. It doesn't take a rest. You only rest when the final double is in. 26. And she's making a move here. Mentioned the missed opportunities for Makuru in the previous leg. Well, Greaves has promptly taken the darts in the third. 137. She looks all of a sudden. You mentioned the eye rolls and the head shakes. All of a sudden, ultra-focused. Maybe that's the sign of someone playing beyond their years 100. and thinking beyond their years. 18 years of age, most players would just be saying, oh, give over, will you? She just switches on. No score. But hold on. Suzuki only needs one treble this time for a shot at the bolt. But it's tricky. And it skids over the top. That's why it was tricky. 94. Well, the approach play has been good by both players, but there have been a few frailties with Gash. the finishing. Again, needing five darts to get there, but Bo breaks and gets a, a grip on this game. It's a beautiful angle of attack, isn't it? We saw from that camera angle of the double six just how straight the darts of Greaves in the board go. And when you're trying to attack that treble 20 and you get it right with dart 1, it makes everything easier. The angle of attack of Suzuki is just as straight, but she's trying to get them over the top. Very differing attack methods. But look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Wallop, oh, just like that. Well, she's certainly clicked into gear. 60. Remember having survived a couple of darts to go 2-0 behind. Suzuki would have then had the darts to lead this match 3-0. Greaves has broken throw and then gone 140, 180, 145 and set up the prospect of a 10 darter to better the 11 that she got earlier today. She got a couple of them, didn't she? And you said we might not see a better 85. leg today. Over to you, Bo. Game wow. Shot. That's all that needs. 
extraordinary from an extraordinary talent to take a 3-1 lead in this final. Best leg of the day in the final game of the day. Bow's Golden Arrows wow. producing the 10 dart leg. Suzuki responds with the first three darts that could better that pull. 93. Don't tempt us. That's another treble, but it's the wrong one. I'd love to see it, you know. I'd love to see it happen. 26. Just to see the social media activity around it. It would be incredible to watch. Because as I've always said, Murph, you know I go on about this all the time. There's no physical or mental reason why somebody born as a girl can't be as good as a boy. Simple as that. 100. We already know, we've seen the proof from the likes of Suzuki and Ashton and Sherrick and others that beating men is just normal these 96. days. It's normal. And throwing like a girl isn't a bad thing. Well, this is an excellent response from Suzuki. 170. A 180 to start the leg. And then a 171 to tee up double 12 for what would be a 13 data. Still pales into insignificance compared to the leg we saw from Greaves last time out. It's just world class Game darts. Shot. 23 darts for the last two legs from these two incredible ladies. Doesn't matter who you are, where you are, or what you're thinking. That is an incredible standard. 95. After the slow start to the match, both players missing doubles. The average is still in the 80s, but across those two legs will be pretty enormous. I'll say one thing. These ladies are really going to sleep well tonight. They've put in a mammoth effort today. Played more matches than anybody else. 60. Could will be a little bit of dinner and then off to bye-bye land for about eight or nine hours. And they can do it all 100. again tomorrow, but what will the dreams entail tonight? Will it be of double silverware for Bo? Or a second title for Suzuki as Bo again maxes, upping that daily count. They're up to nine for the day now, for the tournament. She hit ten in the first. 100. So could well match that and double her tally. Now Suzuki, oddly, is first to a finish. One and if this 161 goes, I'm going to drop my microphone on the floor. Well, the equipment is safe. The production team will be pleased to know. 101. But Suzuki certainly not safe in this final as Bo Greaves takes aim at double 16 to move within one of the win. Game shot. Wonderfully done. Another 13 data, Murph. 10, 13, 13. The last three legs. So the average for Greaves now has gone north of 90. She had an average of 93.63 earlier today against Renock, and that was the match in which he was pushed the most so it just kind of highlights the point that Greaves has got gears 140 she has she's needed them in this game as well because Suzuki has played superbly I know how Suzuki operates as well if she was to lose this 100. final she would have major revenge on her mind tomorrow she'd want to make a beeline for the titles come Sunday. But it's looking evidently clear that Greaves is ready to double down. Maybe only six darts away from a second title here on Saturday in Hildesheim, where we've seen some amazing winners over the years. The MVGs, the Chisnels, the Norrises have won in this building. Daryl Gurney's 92. won in this building before. Is she going to add her name to that list with a second 
title. Fifty-five. Can she do it with fireworks on a big one four six? One hundred and why is it? And Suzuki gets a look at the same shot. Well, this would be something to save it. Choices. They stay there. Maybe treble eighteen. It's Salata, and she gets a dart at the same target. One hundred and thirty. What a game of darts. What a standard. Take a bow, ladies. Game. Take Shot. a bow, Bo. Match. You have not lost one game on Saturday, and it's two PDC titles for Saturday for you. It's another near miss for Makuru Suzuki. He sh she played much better in that final than the one earlier, and she didn't get any closer. But Greaves, undefeated for Saturday, well done. All smiles here.